Hello, hello! I am Ashen Ninja and this is uh, Prince Emmerich. Now, have you ever had that feeling that you're going backwards more than you're going forwards? I get that feeling when I see Grimgor Reinhide waiting here at Darkhold. He's clearly on the move and on the rampage. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna push ahead with trying to take the Dragon Isles because I just Got to get it done. So let's uh, work on that. Now because everyone's got such low uh, health here. Let's hold them back and we'll manually fight this one. Massive archer spam should be fine to complete this battle without any incident. Supposedly, maybe... Just do a bit of a line set up in this one. Uh, still gamble. Loyal. Oh, and we pop in now. There we go. That's all good. I'll hit start deployment. That's probably a good idea. Wait, why did I put that? Dragon Click, clicked on the wrong unit, didn't I? Going well. Going well. You three hide here up the back. Since you all are hurting. Alrighty. Let's see. Do you want to have a healing potion of any kind? No. That's fine. Alrighty. This should be over pretty quickly, I'd say. White lines are getting trashed, but that's okay. There we go, look at that, lovely. White lines didn't even flee. There we go. Thirty-eight casualties. Oh, those white lines. Hopeless. Hopeless. Looks like there's a little bit of friendly fire as well, since that's only 30. Hmm. Oh well. That's fine. It's okay. Alright. That's good. That gives us the Shattered Stone Isle. In that building. High Elven Archmage. Let's pop her out of there and go into ambush stance just for some hopefuls. Though I'm pretty sure Grimgore is not going to head towards her. Smash it to ruins. Get him some more influence. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Grimgore is going to hit Darkhold, which is a real bummer because, again, that's making me a decent amount of money, but. Oh well. Some unassigned skill points here. Let's see. No. B plus five and some more melee defense. So missile resistance would be actually really good for him, so let's grab him some of that. <coughs> You've already got your resistances. And we've got that. Uh, we're just going this. No, we're going to cleanse corruption. Bit of corruption cleansing would be good on the Elven Steed at the moment. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Ah, 
not gonna not gonna go on any of that right now. Crushing a conscientious yeah. <clears throat> Let's just see how this plays out. Probably not very well, I don't think. I just get that feeling. <laughs> oh good, he's confederated, so he's even bigger now. Oh, well, the ambush did not go well. Because while we've ambushed it, it is still a bunch of black orcs, so... She's basically gonna die. Well, maybe. of magic they will die take flight okay, that'll give us enough room to actually get back into the town shaper of fates went out minus 400 odd gold it's always good things are going great make haste Asa. the dragon see how far we can get Okay, now, don't really need that building to go higher, I do need walls to go up here higher, and let's pop a money building in here, money in public order. Let's have a look at what mage we have. We have the only mage that we can get so far. There is an entrepreneur available, of course, but we have shaped this world. I do need to grow that building first so that I can have a higher capacity for mages. Of course, of course they do. I await your orders. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, military advancements too. Why not? Why not, eh? Make him hard to hit. And we'll go through another end turn! Taking a walled city back from orcs is generally not too difficult. Ah, see, that's lovely. They're just going to take both. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, <laughs> and the beastmen strike. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alrighty. Can't quite make it to Dragon Fang Mount, but we'll get that next turn. What are our odds here? Yeah, that's about what I was expecting. So we'll lose both of those settlements, but we'll be at, hopefully be able to work on getting them back. Piercing, that's for archers, lost NC guard, everything, yep. Alrighty. Bulls hammer. Nah. 
We need to stick with having the money. Alrighty. Now I should lose both of those cities in this end turn. <coughs> but we'll be able to take the last of his... We'll be able to get all the Dragon Isles at least. So No? Bloody hell. Yep, Confederation. It's, it's good to see that the AI can certainly um, Confederation cheat. Wouldn't want them doing anything else. And I'll tell you what, let's have a non uh, Yeah, let's, let's, uh, no, let's not, let's not have a non-aggression pact with them. Yeah, so unsurprisingly... Unsurprisingly, this is looking bad. Should be able to auto resolve this one at least. Yeah. That's fine. We'll take that. Alright, so we've now got the Dragon Isles. And we're losing everything else. So that's going well. Yeah, uh, we've got that. That's good for public order. That's good for growth. Uh, let's see. Let's actually get rid of that building, which is probably something I should have done a little while ago, but that's okay. That's cool. Got that. That's... Uh, Pop in growth here as well. So plenty of public order, which is good. Let's actually get rid of that one. I'm going to put in a growth building instead. Uh, I've only got 2,000 gold, so again, I don't want to use any of the rights. Dragon Prince. Will be mostly replenished yeah, by the start of the next turn. Nothing he can do. Sorry, she. Shouldn't be so sexist now, should I? Yeah, there's no point in trying to defend that. They will suffer the might of suffering. That's fine. Close to feet. Yeah, dark hole too. Oh jeez. Both of those armies are extremely nasty. What I need is for their uh, war to fail. And then I can't stand a chance. Maybe. Yeah, lost the capital. That's fine. Glory awaits, Calador's champion. All right. What do you require, Antheus? I need you to. Jump into the water and head there. So I need to know what they're up to. Um, do I have growth building here? Uh, what was the building I wanted here? <coughs> so I think I'll need to actually start going for Sisters of Avalon over here. Probably the best bet. So let's do a bit of that. The dragon shall wake. Now I think I've got enough points left that I can go both for that and for the dragon one. So 
It's just something gonna have to do. Uh, need to make sure we're still gaining plenty of influence. I didn't mean to actually end the turn just there, but oh well. Need to keep scouting out what these guys are doing. They might start taking some of these... Um, little... Uh, what you might call it towns yeah the watch my college yep <laughs> uh, ruins yep so if they do that that's good that weakens their armies makes them lots easier for us wreck oh yep yeah, he's decided he's gonna come and do some raiding not surprising there Oh, they've got plague. Ah, uh, of course. That's it. What flayed rock? Oh, that's fine. Flayed rock will be a soon target the for them. Uh, Finish her off. A simple crusade. I decree death. Finish her off. These fools have no chance. Follow the go. dragon. That's good. Hagrafe is now destroyed. So that's one less enemy. So what do they have? They've got... Yeah, they pulled their military straight out of those. So Standing that's good. By. They're probably heading straight over to the Dragon Isles here. And I even see any of their armies. Who knows what they've decided to do? They're probably heading straight over to Flay Drop. Which again, not great for me, but not horrible. That's all Dragon Prince's stuff. That's just a tactical sample. Yeah, that's not too needed at the moment. Um We'll start going into his fighting ability, see if we can actually make him decent in that way. You can have that and that. Dragon Isles. And go with second growth building. Now we get great eagles, then we get uh, that one. So we're still a ways off that. We can still get nobles here. Oh, that's right, we can recruit nobles everywhere, so we don't actually need that. We didn't need that noble building in the first place. <coughs> Getting some entrepreneurs here would be great, though. <coughs> Excuse me, jeez. Better have a super coffee. Crooked moon gets are destroyed. Probably by the green skins. Who I assume are about to appear, appear around Flayed Rock. This is why we want to scout over here. I want to see what they're doing. I'm going to get rid of those beastmen. Okay, let's see. Asar Noble. Where are your armies? I want to know. Yep, build that one. Easy I'll declare war on him. Summary execution. I'll win. I always do. They will know. Always do. 
You do not always win, mate. <laughs> not when I am your your uh, army commander. You don't. Only the Asur may enter. Only I may dance. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll go with steel technology. Why not? Uh, you are going to increase my entertainment buildings, or should it be port? Hmm. So here I've got two ports. So at the moment it might be better to increase... No, I've got three ports. 400 gold, etc. That's got the special port. I don't know if it actually increases that one. You know what, let's actually get, let's go with the ports. Where was it? Yeah, ports, 3%. That's all, all ports, all regions. Cool. Now, yeah, that should actually now show up. Okay, it doesn't actually show up anything there. That's annoying. Where have you gone, green skins? Where have you gone? Uh, what are you? You're a dynamo? Oh, well, we've got conscientious, of course. Prudent. Isn't bad as well. Oh, let's hire a conscientious one. Because what I want to do is find where the damn green skins have gone. <coughs> not knowing where they are makes it hard to counterattack. If they've buggered off to go fight someone else, that's fine. I just don't want them sneaking up on me. So I send Imrik across to retake Fortress of Vorag and that. I don't want them suddenly jumping over here and going, aha! I couldn't agree more. Reading will out. Alright, so it's the one behind that one, because that's where the question mark is. So as you can see from here, it's the square. Oh, yeah, Crasian Scout, okay. Okay. Speak your mind. A noble and worthy cause. Alright, same sort of one this time. So it this arrow's backing onto that, so the arrow's underneath that. Uh, backing it up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the comb. Sword of Battle, okay. A little bit of extra cash. I'm still not seeing green skin armies anywhere. Guide me. Ali. On to adventure. Where oh where have they gone? Strategy beyond compare. Alright. Mr. In Strategy can be on beyond compare. head there. We will upgrade that one first because that's where we can get the most gold. Alright, you've got high enough for that as well, so we'll put you into port 2. We will give you securing influence. Uh, Flayed Rock is going to Light my path. I will move my have path. a revolt at some stage. So let's see if we can prevent that with some public order. Or at least slow it down a fair bit. I will continue soon.
As you can see, I need to quite work on becoming more powerful again. Need to keep an eye out for them. So if we'd retake the Fortress of Vorag and Darkhold, that'll mean that'll be their main targets. And hopefully that means I'll ignore the Dragon Isles. Resting a spell. Have they got? Oh, they've got a slight military presence there, by the look of it. Speak your mind. Forward at once. And you're going to Noblemen. help them not revolt. Thank you. Now down here, we've got one more turn for that, so we need to keep money there. Dragon Rider. The Star Lance strikes. Now, I want to fight this manually. So I'm instead going to end this episode. And we're going to do this next episode. So hopefully we can begin rebuilding our shit. And slowly get our, get our shit together. And stave off some orcs and goblins for long enough to actually push a bit into their territory and take some of their shit. Uh, I don't like the idea of it. You know, I don't like the idea that I'm actually going to manage it, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm very much the underdog at the moment in this, so that's, that's a bit of a different one. Anyway, that's it for Imerick for this episode. I will see you in the next one. Hopefully, we'll make some inroads. Have a good one.